Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for June 2022. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates with you, Pisces, because that's how we keep up with you. As well, be sure if you want to support this cha channel for free, honey. All right, give this video a like and subscribe. Join the family if you haven't already, Pisces, because if you already are here, girl, what you doing, honey? Just join along. Hit that button. All right, so let's just jump right into your tarot reading here today, Pisces. Pisces, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. That's how you make YouTube general tarot readings resonate with you the most, is by catering the energy to your chart, Pisces, all right? So let's just get right into your weekly tarot reading here today, Pisces. Let's see what's going on, what's good, what's popping with you, honey, all right? <clears throat> all righty, back of the deck here is the Strength card coming in here for you. Who Pisces, 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 my darlings, my darlings, y'all have been going through it here. I really want to firstly just let y'all know and acknowledge Pisces, just the hardships that you have been going through here. I feel like you guys have been going through some type of internal battle. Pisces like I feel like the things that you've been having to process the things that you've been having to take on on your own, like no one around you actually knows about like i feel like people around you would be greatly surprised if they were to f truly find out like the feelings that you were having it's like you're going through a silent battle a silent war on your own darling all right pisces and so i just want to let you know that there's someone out here honey even if it's through the screen darling all right that i celebrate you and i'm rooting you on darling all right even if no one else knows about what's going on with you all right keep your head up because i do see positivity coming in here for you all right well i know right now pisces i keep i get this strong sense of where you are feeling extremely tired here all right you have the fool card hierophant as well as the ten of wands coming in here it's like for you pisces you just dealt with so many hardships with situations that you've been wanting to commit to it's like for you pisces you've tried to make relationships work out romantic darling family friends all right but there's always complications right you try to make you try to make jobs work out you try to make anything work out for the long term and it feels like everything is just is not working out for you in that way it feels like the moment you start putting your roots somewhere the moment you start getting comfortable and start opening up to situations then it's like the rug has been swept from under you once again with that ten of wands it's like burden the uh burdens pop back up seemingly out of nowhere for you what i want to be telling you right now pisces is like right now you're at this place of where i acknowledge that you just want want to give up right you want to give up you want to give up on this idea of love which just is not like you pisces i mean come on honey all right my pisces they are my hopeless romantics here all right but what i want to be telling you with that fool's journey coming in here for you that represents a new beginning all right and you're not starting a new chapter you're starting a whole new storyline something has changed with what has recently happened with you pisces it's like you finally you went over you went through the last um disappointment the last pain right tens represent closures to cycles here and so with this hierophant coming in here this was in the reverse for you pisces it's like the cycle of where anything that you try to commit to for long term is coming to an end now all right because of that fool the tens representing closures to the cycle and the fool's journey being associated with the number zero pisces all right it kind of the story tells itself all right, you you're ending the storyline of where it's like taking on all these burdens where you're ending the storyline of like the constant burdens when it comes to putting your roots somewhere. Things are different for you now, Pisces. Things are different for you. So let's start expounding on this. Two of Swords here, Page of Pentacles with the Nine of Wands stepping forward here for you. I get this sense for you, Pisces. And then what's in the back of the deck here? <clears throat> Nine of Cups. <clears throat> So this is pretty positive here, Pisces, all right? Nine of Cups, by definition, represents a wish being granted for you. But also, what I want to be pointing out to you here, Pisces, is that while I don't see you getting any into anything quite yet where you're going to put your roots into, I mean, all right, I got to be transparent in that way. But I feel like you're going to get into, like, a situation, a commitment. Like, you're going to get into something, Pisces, that makes you feel good. All right. That will that will carry you over until you're later in your path to something that's more long term. All right. So in terms of relationships, do I see you getting into a thriving, like loving relationship? Yes. Do I see it lasting for the rest of your life? I mean, no. 
All right. Do I see you getting a new job, a new way of making money? Yes. Do I see this job, this new way of making money being the thing that makes you money for the rest of your life? No. All right. That's just me being very straight up here, Pisces. But you need to go down your path a little bit more. There's a little bit more on your journey that you need to develop here before you start the next chapter or the next phase when it comes to that whatever it is that we're tapping into for you all right you got to you have to make a little bit more progression until you put your roots in somewhere you're extremely close all right you're extremely close in the sense that you're not going to deal with another really bad situation like a really like outrightly toxic situation that i've seen some of you pisces get into all right but you are going to get into a situation that get, feeds you hope for, for the for the future because what it is what is coming for you here pisces is something extremely solid eight as well as the ace of pentacles coming in here for you as well as the queen of swords you are going to get to that positivity that you're wanting you're going to be able to put your roots into somewhere pisces back of the deck is literally the card of roots here honey if i can get the setup here set up right this is literally like the uh, like later down the path your path pisces all right trust the process you're going to find the place where you literally put your roots can you believe we have the seven of pentacles here pisces with this terminology that i've been using here all right i see you getting into the the happily ever after that you're wanting so badly pisces all right and i know right now as you're receiving this message pisces you're in this place of being like yeah velka like whatever honey like i've heard this before all right you don't want to fall for it again you don't want to put get your hopes up here darling all right and you know you're that's your choice darling all right i'll all i will say on that is remember that our thoughts and everything is energy that we're doing so you want to check your mindset with that pisces but where i see your path really going here pisces is that it's a place of longevity all right enjoy the rest of this year all right for the right right now you're wanting to put your roots into places but i will say like enjoy your bachelorette or bachelor year for the rest of this year because i feel like for 2023 that's really where this is going to start manifesting and coming into fruition for you with all this pentacle energy here it's definitely close to the physical realm but it is the slowest moving energy here all right so i feel like you're going to like this gets locked down by the like the beginning of 2023 for you fully but i don't see a period of where you're dealing with like hurdle after hurdle anymore you completed that part of the cycle now it's just like the waiting phase a little bit before you're able to fully blossom i suppose so pisces let's continue on here oh girl we already have a card coming out as well all right pisces so let's take this on you have the moon energy girl <laughs> not a burp coming in as well you have the moon energy the ten of pentacles in the back of the deck the three of pentacles here as well as the emperor and the four of wands coming in here for you pisces all right i get this sense for you you're about to be getting going on a journey where you have more responsibility put on yourself here i feel like there's like this message here where you're no longer relying on pe the people that you used to rely on i feel like some of you guys pisces are going to start distancing yourself from family members all right or distancing yourself from situations that have supported you in a logistic way in the name of independence. That's what I feel like is going on here. It's like you're about to leave the nest, your safety's net here in the name of uh, going on further out on your path here. I see for some of you, uh, Pisces, you're going to be leaving your living situation, going into a new town, a new state, a new city. All right. Like I just see packing your bags to f further elevate yourself here. You're leaving your comfort zone and this is by your own through, uh, through your own choices here. All right. I really feel that. And that's the best thing that you could be doing for yourself here. Your path is leading you to a place of more independence because I feel like for you, Pisces, while you have some really solid people around you, all right, it's like they're solid people and you look at them and you're just like, bless your heart. I love you. But, you know, but there's that but where it's just like you can't fully rely on them in the way that you think you could rely on them. Like they're not there. Like you have to leave, like move out from your family because 
you know, by logic, you think that's like, okay, fa they're family, it'll, I, can, I can save up money living around with them, but they're not good for you and your mental health because you lose your sense of identity and your sense of self-worth for many of you guys, right? So it's like, it's that sense of where it's just like, you're family and I love you and I know you mean well, but you're just not good for my mental health and, you know, what have you. you get, you're going into this place of independence. And while I see this as being a little bit scary for you naturally here, Pisces, I just want to let you know that you are going to be taken care of, that you are not alone on this journey journey here and while yes you're going to be self-discovering a little bit of your own potential and relying on your, just only yourself you are going to have your spiritual team just right alongside of you to help uh elevate you and get you to your destination there all right so this is the best thing that you needed to happen for you is this, sense, this newfound sense of independence that it's coming into you all right pisces so that's the tarot reading that i have for you this week honey let's get into your oracle cards all right for this week pisces as well so hopefully this tarot reading this week resonated with you pisces on some level Again, let me know if it did in the comments below here, Pisces. But your moon oracle card, as well as your animal oracle card, is the new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation and expressing yourself through rhythm and movement by drumming and dancing. The grouse card here. It's like bringing love into a situation, Pisces, where it's just like you love them for where they are at. You love them for who they are and what they represent to you. But you still have to dance to the beat of your own drum, right? It's like you see them for where they're at. You don't try to change them because it's like again bless their hearts that's where they're at in their journey that's who they are what have you but that doesn't stop you from dancing to the beat of your own drum that doesn't stop you from following in a path that makes sense for just you pisces right so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you this week pisces hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you darling all right be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and help me out it's free to do uh pisces remember if you want to book a private reading with me my website's linked down below simply velka Dot com next to my social medias if you want to connect with me on a more intimate level pisces it's linked down below as well next to my website uh simply welcome for both instagram and tiktok same as you honey but um i love you so much pisces and hopefully i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling